Biosocial Progress. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 262. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 262, April 1st, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about is biosocial progress. What the heck is that? What is biosocial progress? Well, bio coming from the Greek word meaning life, and social meaning our interactions with each other and all things, and progress meaning forward movement. And biosocial progress from one community's perspective is creating complete environments that are purposed to support all life on this planet through our interactions with each other, and with that life and with our surrounding environments for the progress of all of humanity and all life and our planet as a whole. We call this living and creating for the highest good of all. And specifically what that is, is taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good economic practices, highest good education practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these together for biosocial progress that anybody can participate in. And with the ultimate expression of this being teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to teach others how to live and create this way as well. To demonstrate what biosocial progress looks like, to offer a place that people can come to and experience and visit and see what it's all about, and open sourcing and free sharing everything so that people can take the aspects of biosocial progress that they like and implement them in the ways that they want in their own life or with their own groups of people for similar or completely different reasons. Our idea is that biosocial progress is something that, if it were to change the world, requires mainstream adoption and involvement. And so we are clearing away all the barriers and the resistance and the challenges for that by open sourcing and free sharing tools, tutorial, tools, tutorials, resources, and step-by-step -step instructions for all aspects of replication. And this is what you see in the back of the video right here. Everything that you see happening in this video right now is what we've created at this point. And our team is an all-volunteer, unpaid, nonprofit organization creating this because we believe that it's possible to create a sustainable world within our lifetime. And we believe that if not us, then who? If not now, then when? And so we're taking this idea of biosocial progress and we're open sourcing and free sharing it for the benefit of all of humanity and all life on this planet because we know that we can create a sustainable world. We can within our lifetime. The knowledge exists. The technology exists. The resources exist. And enough people are interested in this idea and believe that the time is now that we can do this. And so we brought at this point over 300 volunteers together to create everything that you see happening here and we continue to move forward to the point where we will build one community as a place that people will be able to come and experience to live this way to demonstrate it so that people from around the world will be able to see what it is that we're doing if they like what they see what we're doing if they like experiencing everything you see happening in the background here then we will have the tools, tutorials, resources, and step-by-step -step instructions necessary for replication, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that the ideas will spread on their own. And this is what we are all about, creating self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that demonstrate biosocial progress, invite people to participate in biosocial progress, and open source and free share and constantly evolve and grow all the foundations of biosocial progress so that we can create a world that benefits everybody. For the first time, arguably for the first time in the history of humanity, a world that truly works for everyone. Getting to that tipping point of participation so that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on this planet. And that doesn't require everybody to participate. It just requires reaching that tipping point. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing to make that possible. And everything that we're doing includes all aspects of sustainability so that we have covered all of our bases and so we can offer something to everyone and so that we can build a comprehensive model 
for people to follow, for people to experience, to demonstrate what biosocial progress really looks like for real, the experience of it. So people can have that experience and people can replicate that experience in their own life and they can modify and adapt and improve that experience through our open source tools, tutorials, resources, do yourself instructions. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Like I said, we're an all volunteer, nonprofit, unpaid team. And here's one week of our progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, rejoined the team and took over development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. What you see here is his first week helping with this and focusing on developing the parts and component overview pages. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 AutoCAD layout updates. Here is update 107 of Dean's work. This week he finished development of the landscaping and other details for the floor plan you see here that is also now on the website. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 17th week working on the compressed earthblock village render additions. This week he focused on adding people and additional door and window details and edits to the two renders shown here. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, completed these three layouts for the shipping container village layout within the seven villages book we're developing. And Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 11th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week, she created the eight final renders you see here, covering all aspects of the main living spaces, upstairs loft area, central shared space, and central loft area. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, continued her work with the behind-the-scenes development of the city center excavation and construction of the footer and foundation tutorial. This week's focus was the retaining wall details shown here. Yun Lin, bridge design engineer, also began helping with the beam design and calculation aspects of the city center structural engineering. The spreadsheet shown here is some of this work. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 16th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was running new calculations for the kitchen HVAC loads using a conservative approach and an ultra-sustainable approach, both of which can be seen here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 68th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was testing more approaches and finalizing the lighting strategy for the basement, which you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the complete highest good food rollout plan and cost analysis. We continued adding items and links to the details list for 20 to 50 people, as shown here. The core team also continued working on the garden tools list, adding descriptions and images to the Excel chart, as shown here. In addition, the core team continued research and development of the open source permaculture design for the property. This week we finished the graphics for the section analysis, zone overview, water structure access overview, and the detailed design, all shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued developing the lesson plan's how-to tutorial page. This week, we finished the first 30% of the section giving examples of how to use each other component with the lesson plan's component. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, 
includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished updating our search engine usability on mobile devices. What you see here are the new mobile layouts. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Shubhar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, Asha Tatamari, and Swati Jayasilan. This week, the team updated the timer to round to minutes, increased the size of the leaderboard, created a new API method to handle deletion of project-related tasks, implemented project name validation, and added a toggle function for displayed teams. There you have it. That's what biosocial progress looks like to us, or at least our step-by-step -step process of building all the foundations of it so that other people can participate, so people can take our information, modify it, adapt it, improve it, evolve it, participate in whatever way works best for you, and uh, to make this concept of radical, comprehensive sustainability mainstream in a way that doesn't push it on people, but invites people to participate in whatever way they like. So if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to participate in what it is that we're doing. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Pinterest. Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information. Uh, if you'd like to help, visit our helping page or go to our Facebook page, go to our LinkedIn page, go to our Twitter feed, go to any of our social media platforms and just like and share our information. That's the easiest way to help us out. Or go to our website and just share the pages that you resonate most with. It's a great way to help us out. Also, donations are hugely appreciated. As I said before, we are 100% unpaid staff, 100% volunteer staff, and a nonprofit organization. So because we're all unpaid, 100% uh, of donations helps to go, goes towards forwarding our mission and supporting the continuation of our organization as a nonprofit organization, which really covers our website expenses and everything related to that and our continuing ongoing open source uh, and open sourcing process. So if you're somebody that's donated to us in the past, thank you. We appreciate it. Just for watching to the end, thank you. We appreciate it. If you've liked our information or shared our information, thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.